A very close call that could have ended tragically. Thank you so much for staying with us. I'm Alan Campbell. Police in Madison Heights responded to an emergency call of a gunman inside a target. Turns out that gunman had a BB gun with the orange tip taken off to make it look more real. A very similar incident played out last month in Pittsfield Township where another teen was arrested for robberies at a Meyer store, also with a BB gun, and that orange tip removed. The young man in Madison Heights was taken into custody without violence. 7 Action News reporter Simon Chiquette shows us what witnesses saw and how it all ended without injury. Witnesses are describing a very tense encounter here at this Target store in Madison Heights when a teenager armed with what looked like a real handgun came face to face with police. Get on the ground! Get down! Caught on body camera video, Madison Heights police order a 15 year old boy armed with a BB gun pistol to give up. The scene at Target at 13 and a half mile and John R playing out after a call to 911. Witness Pat Hayes recalls the panic. It was very nerve wracking. At the end of the day, I mean, the kid's lucky to be alive. The teen, whom we're not identifying, allegedly was first spotted out front of the busy store on May 6th. Then detectives say he went inside and ordered a worker to let him out a back door at gunpoint. The suspect ran through the Target store. He ran into an employee, found an employee near the rear of the store, pointed the gun at her and physically pointed her uh, to the rear door and asked her to open it for him. I got him on the back. I got him on the back Police say in the seconds it took for it all to play out, the adrenaline was high and the fear was real. How does the training kick in? A lot of variety of training, including active shooter situations, uh, range training, which involves decision making processes and to ensure the safety of everybody on the scene, first and foremost. Officer involved shootings have drawn intense scrutiny around the country, but in this case, no shots were fired and no one was hurt as the team gave up. Today, a shopper telling us this. Police could have shot him dead. They don't know that ain't, that's a cap, huh? Now you can go and pull a uh, play gun on someone and that person gets shoot and kill you, it's your fault. We've learned the weapon did closely resemble an actual gun. The teen is now charged with felonious assault and obstructing justice. His mother, whom we reached by phone, declined comment. In Oakland County, a youth assistance program that offers counseling and mentoring will now also be involved in this case. The earlier we can get to kids and their families and figure out what's going on, I think we can break patterns of past behaviors. At most, that teenager could face as much as five years behind bars if he is found guilty. In the meantime, we've learned he remains in juvenile custody. From Madison Heights, Simon Shaykat, 7 Action News. Simon, thank you. Not